Hey, frag heads and fragrance lovers, welcome back. It's Benjamin here at the Centaur Fragrance Show, showcasing another beautiful fragrance. So thank you so much for popping in today and spending a little bit of your time with me and uh, checking out a new beautiful fragrance. So what do we got on our hands here today? This is Oudois Vanilla from the House of Bourdois. This is a house that's a little bit under the radar. Not everybody knows about it. Sebastian, he's amazing over there. And Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews did showcase this house and actually did an interview uh, back in the day. So check out, Google that video, those videos up and uh, check out this brand a little bit more. This brand has a lot to offer, and I'm happy that I was got an amazing deal on this one. But let's talk about the notes. Why is this fragrance so good? Why is it so great? We gotta talk about it. Oh man, it's a beauty. This is a vanilla fragrance. This is a vanilla fragrance dream. This is real Madagascar vanilla. This is a beautiful, sweet fragrance, but there's so much more going on. There's amber and there's oud. Those are the big notes to this fragrance. I think there might be a little bit of some patchouli nuances going into this fragrance, but it's golden. It's resinous, it's 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 full bodied, there's a lot of character to it, and I get some smoky nuances. I've seen some people tell me or suggest that this fragrance is a little bit too smoky. And uh, this fragrance really just has a blend of a little bit of a dark edge and a little bit of that smoky quality coming through with the vanilla, making it very, very unisex, very, very interesting, and has a lot of character. Um, again, the amber and the patchouli nuances are just adding a little bit of... Uh, interesting thickness and richness to this fragrance um, really really well done uh, the amber of course sometimes can be a little bit sour and it really balances out the sweetness of the vanilla this is kind of a semi-sweet fragrance but the vanilla still is in the forefront really is still the biggest player and again this is might be the best vanilla i have ever smelled out of any fragrance so i'm not making this up just to talk about this fragrance now you might hear see oud you know the fragrance has oud in the name how much oud he is uh here and what kind of oud are we getting into this isn't a scary oud at all, guys. This to me is more of a lay ocean, lay ocean oud. It's uh, it's very smooth. It's it's uh, almost creamy and um, just adds an interesting twang to it. It's not animalic, it, but it does really add with to add almost like leather facets and are almost like a suede quality to this amber and uh, just adds to the richness and a little bit of that almost patchouli vibe that I get from this fragrance as well. Really well done fragrance, really well composed, kind of simple, honestly, but it doesn't smell gorgeous, yes. This is one of those fragrances that actually gave me almost a nosegasm. When I first bought this fragrance, when I first got it, I, I couldn't stop smelling it. I was here and I actually couldn't stop smelling it. I couldn't believe how good it smelled. And um, if you like a more rich, smoky, wet, balanced uh, vanilla that's not, you know, your fluffy, airy, musky vanilla, Annie's a great fragrance, but it's more on that musky, airy side. This is a little bit more rich. It's a little bit more bold, and it has a lot more body, and it's really supporting this fragrance. It's it's not a heavy fragrance by any means, but it certainly, to me, has uh, more personality than a lot of the fluffy, airy, marshmallowy, uh, pillowy uh, kind of vanillas that tend to be out there, especially when they tend to be supporting notes. The vanilla is here. It's strong, and it's bold, and it has a lot of uh, stronger components wrapped around that vanilla making it a, have a, a very full, you know, a big body, big personality uh, kind of vanilla going on in this fragrance. So some people might say there's some woody tones. Uh, perhaps there are some in the background, but it's not a woody fragrance at all. So anyways, gorgeous fragrance. Can't say enough good about it. I'm in love with it. One of my favorite fragrances, and it can be layered. Even though it's complex, it has its own character. It is perhaps a little bit linear to some people, so you could add a fresh top to this fragrance, and you could blend something else with this one, especially another gourmand fragrance. That would be absolutely outstandingly beautiful. So performance-wise, I get solid performance out of this fragrance. It's not the strongest in projection. It gives me about average projection. It does have fairly nice sillage, maybe a little bit above average sillage, but I get seven to nine hours. Um, Again, for a modern smelling or Western oud fragrance, I don't want it to be super bold and super strong because even though this is a Western oud fragrance, even though it's more approachable and perhaps more wearable to the average person, it's still unique. Now, average person on your, on your on the street in the USA has never heard of oud, has never worn oud, and even modern wearable Western ouds might be um, uh, could be a little bit different. I'm not challenging exactly, but different and perhaps unique. And um, I love how tantalizing and how this oud in this fragrance just grabs you and really adds some again beautiful qualities to this fragrance so uh, really really good stuff works on my skin works like a charm and it is charming so let's get jump to that compliment factor is it charming 
And yes, it certainly works with my skin chemistry and works with my personality and my style. I get positive attention with this. This is a fragrance that makes you feel approachable, likable, rich, luxurious, and also invites people in. But yet, people know that you have some character. There's something exotic about you, and there's something different. Um, this fragrance has that air of quality about it. Um, you know, comforting and interesting and yet mysterious, kind of all at the same time. It does those kinds of things so, so well. And um, Uva Wa Vanilla, certainly highly recommended. But let's jump into the my final thoughts before I, you know, spill all the beans and tell y'all everything about this one. I, I, hopefully my enthusiasm comes through with this fragrance. It's really, really nice. Um, this, uh, you know... My final thoughts are, you know, this is a 100 mil bottle. I, I got this for an amazing price. I got a deal of a lifetime. I don't want to mention it because people then might think that they might have to get that kind of deal. Some people think they have to get uh, a just as a, amazing once in a lifetime deal, a red clearance, you know, red tag kind of item that not everybody is ever going to see again. So um, at the full retail price for about 140 US dollars, I think that this is a solid purchase. I think the value is here. I think this is worth the money. And um, if you're a fan of more interesting perhaps a little bit darker vanillas and um you know this is a very entry-level oud i would say this is very wearable this is a oud that i think it could be a good first oud but it is a no it is somewhat noticeable but it's not animalic so you know, you can get very synthetic, modern designer fragrances with Oud that are very much in the background, really aren't, don't ha aren't really noticeable at all. That might be more comfortable with you. But if you want to jump into a fragrance and you, if you like vanilla and, uh, you know, you want an Oud that's definitely a little bit noticeable but still very wearable and, uh, you know, again, uh, this fragrance isn't smoky but can feel smoky to some people, um, I think that this would be an awesome fragrance to check out. It's absolutely worth the money. Um, the, the, the bottle is a little bit simple, but it's a, it's a high-quality crystal glass. And uh, th uh, this uh, pattern here they call, I think, like a silk uh, tapestry kind of looking design. Hopefully that's coming through with the camera. It looks really, really classy. It's understated. It's not too much, but it's certainly there. Supposedly that's a real gold. So 18 karat gold, they say. And um, I don't have anything with gold, real gold in my collection. So I feel pretty darn fancy over here. Anyways, um, I hope that you liked my review. And uh, hearing about this fragrance, this is one of the best vanillas in my experience on the market. And for the money, there's vanillas that cost far better and don't last near as long. There's plenty of ouds. I meant uh, vanillas out there that don't have as much character, that um, aren't as interesting, and uh, maybe, you know, don't project as well. Uh, getting real vanilla, higher quality vanilla, is very a very expensive ordeal. Uh, vanilla extract is one of the most expensive ingredients in perfumery. And, um, you know, maybe this isn't, there is some other vanilla and sweetness added to this. I think that there is some of that adding to the sweetness here. But there is some of that real Madagascar vanilla peeping up and um, I love the quality and I just love the feel of this fragrance so enough of me ranting and uh, raving about this fragrance uh, check it out if you can it's not the easiest to find you probably well, hope maybe if you're lucky enough you can find a uh, you know a boutique near you that carries these but you might have to blind buy it but uh, take a risk um, I don't suggest blind buying but you know, check this one out if you can. I do suggest it. It's um, it's a gorgeous one. I uh, hope that y'all enjoyed my review today. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share the video, and tell a friend if you liked the, you know, my video today. And um, I really do appreciate each and every single one of y'all from the heart. And this is a metal cat with a plastic inside. That speaks to the quality, guys. Metal cat. Anyways, guys, I'll see you next time. Have a beautiful day. Wear what you love. Rock what you got. And um, enjoy your beautiful fragrances. Wear them. Get out there and have some fun, and I'll see you next time, everybody, and bye.